I will next describe some properties of the liquid state. The first is surface tension. Surface tension is the energy required to increase the surface area of a liquid. In the case of water, hydrogen bonding across and beneath the surface tends to form a net vector towards the center. In the interior of this drop, hydrogen bonding occurs in three dimensions. Thus, the liquid tends to form a spherical shape as the particles within the liquid are attracted towards the center. This form of attraction reduces the surface area of the liquid, and surface tension is the necessary energy to increase this surface area. The stronger the forces are between the particles in a liquid, the greater the surface tension. Surfactants, for example soaps and emulsifiers, decrease the surface tension of water by congregating at the surface and disrupting the hydrogen bonds. Here are surface tensions of different substances. Mercury, having metallic bonding, has the highest surface tension. Water, which has hydrogen bonding, also exhibits high surface tension. As the energy of attraction between particles decrease, surface tension also decreases. Another property of the liquid state is capillarity. Capillary action or capillarity is the rising of a liquid through a narrow space against gravity. You will often see it when you put a small capillary tube in water. Water tends to rise inside these capillary tubes. This can be explained by two types of forces present. The adhesive force, this is the H bonding of water with a glass wall, and cohesive force, the hydrogen bonding within water, which raises the water level. Together, the adhesive force and cohesive force produce the concave meniscus you often see in these cases, until gravity balances the upward force. The cohesive forces among the mercury atoms are much stronger than the adhesive forces. They produce a convex meniscus. The depression of the liquid level in a convex meniscus is known as capillary fall. The next property of the liquid state is viscosity. Viscosity is the fluid's resistance to flow. This results from intermolecular attractions that impede flow. Viscosity is much higher in liquid than gases and decrease with heating. You will notice this in heating oil in a pan. When you place your oil in a pan, the oil is viscous. But as you heat it up, the viscosity of the oil decreases. Small spherical molecules have low viscosities and long molecules pour slowly. Stronger intermolecular forces create higher viscosity. Water is a great solvent due to its polarity 
and exceptional hydrogen bonding ability. It has exceptionally high specific heat capacity and high heat of vaporization. This gives Earth and its organisms a narrow temperature range. Water has high surface tension and capillarity. And the solid state has lower density than the liquid state. This is very useful in frozen lakes, wherein the ice is on top. And the bottom, which remains a liquid, prevents aquatic life from freezing. 